All right, hi everyone. Good evening and welcome to another stream. Hope you're all feeling good today. And we're going to be doing some clubhouse games, or as we call it over here, 51 Worldwide Games. I'm not sure why they changed the name for the European territories, but that is the English name for it over here. So if you're very confused as to why the name and logo looks different on my icon there, that's the reason. Because Europe can be fun like that sometimes. So yeah, I'm not sure how to structure this session, this streaming of like this game. I think I'm going to start by checking some single player stuff and then maybe toward the end of today's session we'll do some multiplayer stuff. Most of the games on here can be played online. I think like maybe four or five games can only be played like by yourself, like single player style. But almost everything on here does have online, so... I mean, there's, inevitably there's going to be some games here that I probably won't even check out. Like, I, I don't think Mahjong, for example, really interests me in the slightest, but we'll check out a good number of games over the next several uh, streams of this. Let me just fix the volume real quick. One moment. Okay, that should just about do it. So this game requires, I mean it doesn't require the Joy-Cons, like some of the games you can play with the Pro Controller, but to use the, to, to play some of the games you need to use the Joy-Cons. So for the first time in fucking forever I'm actually using Joy-Con controllers, which is kind of weird because they're like so tiny for my hands. I've got like fucking gigantic hands, El Gigante. So I guess I can't, I can't even go online yet. I guess you have to like do single player first, or you do a single system, and then you can go online. Uh, Planet Earth, it's the world. I, oh, I wonder if the European version of this has like that American voice acting, because I've seen like some previews of like so, some YouTubers like playing the American build before it came out, and it has like this really cringy like Americanized voice acting. I, w I wonder if this version of the game has that, or if this is going to be like a Wii Fit style thing where it's like, oh, we've got British voice acting. Uh, Planet Earth, it's the world that we all call home. Life here has always been about two things, surviving, the coronavirus, and having fun. Games have even, have, have, have even existed forever. Every culture worldwide has its classics. I'd like to introduce you to a few of them. Would you mind telling me a little about yourself? Sure. So I get to pick a player piece then that represents myself. Let's see which one of these best suits me. I don't know. I guess this one. I mean, I don't look... Is that, is that a woman or a guy? I can't even fucking tell. It's just like the hand behind their head, like they're confused. Like, that's kind of how I feel right now. What about this one? God, everybody is either too young or too old. There's no, nobody to, like, fit my, per, my particular age. Which, I just turned 34 the other day, so if you're wondering, then yeah. I guess I'll go with it. Yes, this kind of looks mid, slightly middle-aged. Maybe more young and middle-aged, but it's not, like, super old. Whatever. I can change the hair colour at least, so... Skin tone, okay. Favourite foods, hamburgers. I mean, I'm a hamburger person, but let's see all the options. Of course, the European version would have fish and chips as one of the things here. I don't think the American version would do that. Triple hot pot, sausage, pizza, apple pie, fondue. Can I, can I just say everything? Like, all of the above? That would be nice. I've, although, having said that, I've never tried fondue before. I, I know what it is, I've just never tried it. Is it good? Palella, pasta, french fries, chocolate, oh, I don't know what potatoes are, but I don't know what au gratin potatoes are, cabbage, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm, I'm just going to go for the easy answer, burgers, the burgers, what do you want? I mean video games, but what else you got? My own home, a pool, healthy, su healthy succul succulents, what's that? <laughs> World domination, yeah. A, a time machine, eternal li like some of the answers toward the bottom are like very outlandish. Telepathy, a private jet. I mean, I don't see what cooking skills is so outlandish, but okay, maybe that's the cutoff line. Maybe between here and here is where you start seeing some of the really bizarre stuff. 
I mean, you know me, I like my video games, so I'm just gonna go for the easy answer once again. Hamburger and video games. That's all I want in life. I think that's all everybody wants in life. Wait a minute. So, so I can position where I live. So I live in Scotland, as you guys know. I know Shocker, right? Can you fucking tell? And Scotland's round about there. So there we go. I guess this is for if you're playing online with randos or something, it would show you where you live. Kind of. Your profile information will be visible. Yeah, there we go. Sure. Wait, did I? D do I have to put a username in or did am I just called my figure now? What's that sounds? Looks like your first game guides have arrived. Trying out the games they recommend is a good way to get started. Alright, I'll catch you later. So yeah, we've got a couple people around the world. Where, where is this? Is this Japan? I'm, I'm not even... I, I admit I don't know my geography. I think this might be... Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, that's North America, isn't it? And this is South America, question mark? So somebody please tell me, because I don't know. Well, obviously this is Europe. This whole area is Europe, and this is... The small island up here is the United Kingdom, and the northern side is Scotland. But yeah, I think this is America. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I, I turned the world upside down, help. Right, fine then, social games. These games come up with a lot. These games come up a lot in social settings, so it's good to know how to play. Sure. The games I like are tricky to learn, but you'll you'll look cool for knowing them. If billiard seems too complicated, I suggest using the simple rules. So how do I? Oh right, you just press invite guide. So let's see. Quite a few games here. I don't know which one to start with. Um, this is Yahtzee, isn't it? I've never played Yahtzee, but I think I know how you play that, sort of, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. That's Connect 4, I know that one. Hit and Blow, I think I think over here we call that Masterminds, but apparently that's a really good one. Never heard of this one, Nine, Nine Men's Morris. Drafts, I, th I think I played Drafts, but I don't remember how you play that. Dominoes. I don't know how you play backgammon, apparently that's a good one. Like, when, once you get to these two, I'm a bit confused just looking at it, because it's like Japanese calligraphy symbols that I have no fucking idea what they mean. And then you get like Mahjong, which is like a whole different thing. So wait, is this every single game, or is it just like some of the games? But I'll tell you what, we played, like, a, a couple weeks ago, I briefly played Clubhouse Games for the DS, just in, like, anticipation of this game. And I did absolutely shite at Solitaire. Solitaire. Time to get my revenge, let's see if I can actually beat Solitaire this time. Klondike is the best known version of Solitaire. Oh god, People it's American voice acting. Stacks in order from high to low. But you can't put a card on top of the same color. Red has to be I think it's American, I'm not even Vice sure. Versa. I know how to play this, but I just want to listen to the voices for a minute. But I guess I guess for some people who have never played Solitaire before, here's how you do it. Hmm. Just like real life. You win when everything is put away where it belongs. Hear that, kids? Right, okay then. Um, where is how to play or draw draw one, draw three? Yeah, let's do draw three mode. I think that might be a little bit easier. Right, so I'm gonna start by drawing three cards. I think draw one might be easier actually, but draw three could also work. 
no aces so far. Can I change the speed of this cursor? It moves like fucking molasses, holy shit. Don't see any cards that I can put down right now. Right, okay, then draw three more. But we're off to a fantastic fucking start. God damn it. Nah, that's not gonna work. And that's about all I can do right now. I, I wish I could speed this cursor up because it moves so fucking slow, it's painful. I mean, it's fine, but it's like, I, I can move, I, I feel like I should be able to move the cursor faster than this, and it's a little bit aggravating to me that it's like going as slow as it is, but whatever, I'll, I'll get used to it. I've already got gone through all my cards, I'm going to have to go back to the start again. Oh yeah, I can press the, what button is that? Is that the, is that X? Yeah, you can press the X button to like go back to the top of the pile or like to shuffle or you know what I mean, like to draw your cards or reshuffle. So I don't have to click this every time I want to do that, so I guess that kind of helps. Nah, this is already... Oh, I didn't even realize that that 8 was there, sorry. You are stuck. At least the game has the courtesy to tell me that I can't make any more moves, right? Okay, so that was doomed from the start. Right, Mulligan, let's do that again. At least I got an ace to start with, so that's one foundation. You cannot move the cursor faster, you've tried. The game tends to work best with touch controls. Yeah, the problem with that is I, I'm playing in docked mode and I'm streaming, so... I wish I had one of those things that would, like, capture your, uh, switch footage in, like, handheld mode, but you have to, like, mod your switch to do that shit, and it's like... Nah, I'm good. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've already, we're already making progress here compared to the last attempt. Yep, there we go. Put that six there. You just need to find the red seven now so that I can move that six and put a king in there. But yeah, at least it tells you, like, if you cannot make any more moves, at least the game tells you that. Which is better than the DS one, because you could be wasting your time trying to figure something out when it's, like, impossible to, like, win. Right, okay. Put that three over there. Just need to get that jack out of the way. If I can find the black queen and put it on that red king, then I can move that jack over there and then subsequently move the king over. So I have to draw a card or draw three. Let me refresh the restream chat real quick because I'm not sure if the viewer count is accurate. You hate this game. You remember playing this on Windows PC and you won all the cards and the flood on the screen is a funny effect. Yeah, I remember, I kind of remember that actually. But I'm going to refresh the chat real quick or the restream application because sometimes the viewer count is inaccurate. It's saying two people are watching, which is obviously incorrect when four people are talking, so I need to fix that. Restream fix your shit, please. Okay, five people are watching, right, okay then. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything with this, can I? Don't see a black four here. Ah, shit. I, I, I saw the ten there, but I pressed the fucking button like a moron. I'll get that red 10 the next time it comes back around again. Nope. See an ace back there. Almost. Right, well, there's the black queen I was looking for, so I can now do this. And there we go. Now I've got a 5. Of which I can put the red 4 on top of. We'll put this red 4 over. Need 
need to find the red seven for that one so that I can move the other king over. My commentary will be very, <laughs> very non-existent when I play a game like this, by the way. But I'll, I'll move on to another game after I'm done trying to beat this one. Four. Any fives? No. Just making sure I'm not missing anything before I draw more cards. Yeah, I don't see anything, so... Oh, there we go. Where was that? Yeah, there is. Right, so I can do that. And we've got a foundation, excellent. And we've got a two that we can put there. I'm doing better this time than I did the first time, so that's good. We're making progress. Make rapid progress. So what I want to do now is... I don't think there's anywhere I can put this. If I can get one of those two kings somehow and put them on there, or if I can get a king from one of these cards underneath and then move them over there. No, it's not going to work, is it? Nah. I mean, I could do that, but at the same time, that's not really going to change anything with the layout right now, so... Next set of cards. Nah. I mean, I could do that if I wanted. But again, what difference does that make? Oh, there's an ace. So I didn't even realise there was an ace up there. I almost shuffled my cards. Let me know if the chat... Did I miss... Hang on, I think I missed a message there. Let me, let me check that real quick. There's a simple mode to Spider Solitaire that makes every card the same suit. Might be worth checking that out if you keep getting stuck in Klondike. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is between Spider and Klondike is. I, I assume this is like the typical Solitaire that I did the last time I played, like Clubhouse on DS. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shuffle. Can I get this off here? Not yet. I saw the ace there, but I can't get it because of that. I can get the ten at least, and we can move that nine. Five can go there. Four can go there. And... No red nines, but we got a lot of cards off there, so that's good. Can put that in the foundation. No, nope, that's not going to work. God damn it, stop taunting me with the opposite colour that I want, game. Oh, I didn't even realise there was a space there. I was looking at these twos and... and sorry, I'm, I'm being dumb. I was looking at that three, which wouldn't have worked, or whatever. I have the biggest fucking brain in the world right now. Right, okay then, so eight can go there. I, I do wish I could move this cursor a little bit faster. This is kind of aggravating. Like, see, here's the thing. I'm using an analog stick, and you'd think this speed that I'm doing right now would be like, maybe I'm moving the analog stick a little bit over, like partially, like I'm moving at 50%, but this is like full speed. This should be like half speed, and then like double this should be like full speed, so that I can quickly zip around and pick the cards, because... I know the time limit doesn't mean anything, but if you're like trying to get as fast as possible of a time and you're playing in docked mode, that can be a bit of a detriment. Sorry that I keep harping on that, it's something that immediately jumps out at me as like an annoyance. But whatever. Can't really do anything about it, so... Ah, oh, there we go. Right, all foundations are in place, now let's start working toward putting them down. Just building up the foundations. Where's that heart three? Right, okay, we can now do that. And the heart three can go there. Which means I can now put four down. And we've got a jack. I might actually be able to beat this, guys. If I can get these remaining cards out, then we're in the, we're in the clear pretty much. 
going to move that king over. Speaking of kings. Fantastic. No, it's not going to work. So I've started watching the remainder of the 10 episodes of Rick and Morty Season 4 because they split it, like it's 10 episodes for Season 4, but they split it into like 5 episodes last year and 5 episodes this year. The final 5 episodes just aired recently. So I watched episodes 6 and 7 earlier tonight. 6 was pretty funny, 7 was very bleh. I didn't like episode 7 that much. I'll probably end up watching episode 8 tomorrow and I'll let you guys know what I think about that. But yeah, episode 6 was a very meta episode, but it was also a good kind of meta. There was a lot of good moments in that one. I completely forgot that I watched the first 5 ep- like, because earlier tonight I was like, you know what, I feel like watching Rick and Morty season 4, so I'm going to watch episode 1. And bit by bit, it dawned on me that I already watched episodes 1 through 5. This is why I hate it when they split seasons into like in parts I guess, because it, feel, it feels like, well, can't can I just like watch all the season in, at once? No, no tens. But yeah, I watched episodes 6 and 7 and 6 was great, 7 was not so great. I'm running out of ideas here, I'm looking for solutions, I guess I can put that away. Maybe if I do this, and if I put that there, and that there, and that there. Ah, there we go. Oh. -ho. Now we're cooking, now we're cooking. Kitchen's on fucking fire. So yeah, having the foundations there really does help, because you can, like, basically... Oh, if you double tap it, it just jumps straight up. Right, that's good. That helps. Da -da -da -da. Let's see if I can... It should be possible to get up the jack there so that we can... Yeah, I think that would be possible, actually. I'm going to try getting rid of most of these cards so that I can un like uncover this. Because I can't get to the Red Queen right now because it's hiding behind those two cards. At the very least, I should be able to get to that red diamond 9 and then, you know, replace that. 7... I don't see any 6s here. Right, we've got all the four kings down, so we're we're doing we're doing good for ourselves. I've been streaming this for like thirty minutes now, and all I've done so far is fucking play Klondike. Quality, quality stream. Just need to get one red queen. That's all I'm looking for right now. And a, a red six would be a red. A, a diamond, a six of diamonds is what I also need. I think that might be hiding behind this stuff. Shit, I think I might be. Hmm, right, that might be a problem then. Got an idea, but I'm trying to trying to figure out how to do this. The game hasn't said I can't do any more moves yet, so I'm not quite beat yet. So I'm trying to get that red nine and red ten out of here, but easier said than done. Let's move that 
Oh wait a minute, I can do that. Now I've got the red tin, which I can sit nowhere. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. So I can do that. And I can put the queen there, there we go. There we go. Ready. We're almost there, we're getting there. Black nine. Put the eight there. So yeah, if you double tap it, it takes you to the logical answer, which that's kind of useful, I guess, if you want to do this as quickly as possible. And then put that there. Oh wait, that, that six was supposed to go over where the seven was, but inside the foundation works too. Right, we're, we're just about done here. I think I'm, I've completed this. Give me the red queen. Where is it? Oh wait, I took the red queen out. Wait a minute. The, the Red Queen is in there. Hang on. I've got an idea. I think the Red Queen is hiding behind the fucking Jack and you need the Queen to put the Jack on the King, if that makes sense. But I think instead I'm going to move cards around until I get to this Red Queen and then we can put the Jack on there and then the King on there. Or put the Jack... You know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, this is going to take a couple minutes. I need to figure out how to do this. I guess seven, seven, eight, nine, eight. Not that one, sorry, that one. Just taking a moment to figure out what to do next. Ten. Then the jack. Ayy! And now we can put the rest of them down. Do the rest automatically? Yes. There we go! I finally got my revenge on fucking Klondike Solitaire. How nice of the game to keep track of my fucking win rate. One star rank? Fuck you. <laughs> right, okay then. Right, let's do an actual fucking game this time. Klondike Solitaire is one of the most popular forms of card-based Solitaire to the point where Solitaire used on its own actually refers to this variant. Yeah. You unlock some cool trivia? Keep playing and collect more trivia to impress your friends. Yeah, I totally look fucking cool telling people about like Klondike being the most popular form of Solitaire. You can look back anytime through the trivia by pressing L and R. Piano? Take a play break and play your very own yeah. recital. This isn't a clubhouse game. Wait, that's it? Yep. Come on, you always have something to say. Well... There are keys, and little keys? Oh, forget it. Wow, good fucking introduction to piano, mate. If I shake the Joy-Con, it does like a maraca sound, and the Joy-Con vibrates. Quality HD rumble. Wait a minute. Oh, this doesn't... Right, okay. I was trying to, like, press buttons there to get a cursor to show up. You have to play it in handheld mode, I guess. Right, hang on a second. You can't see this, but you can hear it. I don't know how to play music, so... Did you hear that? I... Can I change the, the keyboard, the... See, I'm, I'm, I want to do like a little jingle thing, but I don't have the right pitches. Like, how do I go? Does anyone know how I go higher on this, or is that it? I guess that's it. Right, okay then. Yeah, don't, don't expect anything from me on that. I'm going to put that back in the dock. If you turn it upside down, you can turn it into synthesizer. Hang on a second. Let me try that. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So you can't see this, but it does change the layout. The the HUD. Hang on. I'm trying to position the switch in such a way that you can hear this. So I think there's like four different... There's like four different settings. That's, that's bizarre. I wish I could show you that, but I have to like turn the switch back on its like actual side and put it back in the dock. So yeah, never mind. What a fucking weird inclusion. You can change the keys. How does one do that?
Sorry, I'm moving the Joy-Con about. Uh, you know what? You don't know about the piano? Right, never mind then. Let me just put this back in the dock. Which is easier said than done because I have to reach over the microphone to put it in. Hang on. One moment. There we go. Right, well, I, I, I just ignore that, I guess. That was a complete waste of time. Let's just play another game. The full name of the piano was originally the Gravesio Cor Piano E Forte. That's a mouthful. It certainly is. Right, so let's try one of the games that I've been kind of looking forward to because it looks fun. Bowling. Strike, double turkey, keep it going. So yeah, I was one of those people that when the Wii came out, I played... Thanks for interrupting me, game. Why so grumpy? I don't want to lug a heavy ball around. This is a video game. You could carry a whole bowling alley if you wanted. Oh yeah, then sure, let's play! I mean, I know how to play bowling, but I just want to listen to this fucking shitty voice oh acting. What the? How did you get so good? <laughs> I played a little when I was younger. I guess in games, even toddlers can bowl. So yeah, like I was trying to say there, um, I used to play Wii Sports a lot, and um, Wii Sports Bowling was like my favourite game on that thing, so... For all intents and purposes, this is essentially Wii Sports Bowling on the Switch. But you can use like actual proper motion controls on the Joy-Con, and not like the half motion controls on the, the Wii Remote. So yeah, I'll do two. I'll do ten frames. I think you can play this online, but it's like two players, so it's not like four people playing. But two players is enough, I guess. Right, so be sure to use your strap. Nah, I'm good. I'm not gonna fucking throw my Joy-Con into the fucking monitor. I'm not that daft. Right, so aim and move. Right, okay, I see. I'm gonna I'm gonna move the chair back a little bit because I need some like clearance for my arm because there's like a desk next to my desk if that makes sense there's not a lot of space around me so i just need a little bit of clearance for that at least i'm not going to do like a huge swing but i need enough swing for it to actually register right okay then if i can do a curve ball kind of i mean if i do it like this and then i do a curve and then r while throwing oh jeez. Yeah, and I need a little bit more clearance. Sorry, my arm hit, you probably heard that, my arm hit the keyboard tray just a little bit. Oh god, you really need to fucking do a lot of motion on this. Wait, do I have to release the R button? That's what I'm doing, maybe I'm not supposed to do that? Oh god, hang on. I'm gonna try something different. Right, okay. Gonna need a little bit of practice with this because, like on the Wii Remote, you didn't have to like move it that much. This one, you need a little bit more like oomph to the motion. Right, so you don't need to release the R button. At least I know that much now. So inevitably, I'm gonna make some mistakes here while I'm like trying to get the feel for this. But yeah, let's try going for that curveball. I'm gonna move a little bit away there so I can compensate with a curve shot, maybe. Hang on. And the curve in the complete opposite direction, good. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is... The way I'm doing this right now, it's hard to describe, but I can't exactly throw the Wii or the... Like, I can't, like, swing the Joy-Con straight forward. I'm like doing it off to the side of the chair right now. Because that's the only way I can do it because of the, the, the limited space around me. So that's that's a little bit annoying. 
I mean, I could, I could, I could like turn my chair 160, de 180 degrees and like do it the other way, but then you wouldn't hear my voice because the microphone wouldn't be anywhere near my mouth. So, trying to figure out how to best do this. In fact, let me try swiveling the microphone a little bit away to the side and I'll try it like this. Hang on. I don't know if I sound different or not. Oh, God damn it. Right, okay, I think that might be a little bit better. Do I, do I sound fine? Because I'm, I'm I'm away from the computer a little bit, but I've moved the microphone a bit over. Professional streamer. Right, okay, I think this works better. Right, I think I've got it now. But yeah, it feels fine. But compared to Wii Sports, you do have to put a bit more oomph into it. Like in Wii Sports, there was like a way to like do it without too much mov movement. But this one, using like more advanced motion technology, you really have to like... Like in this one, it registers how far back you swing it before you can actually launch it forwards. Oh jeez. I can still see the monitor from here, but it's like at an angle, so... Oh. Yep. Right, so let's start over. We'll consider that practice. Let's do this for real, I think. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Guess I can go for a spell then. It's not exactly optimal, but I can work with this. For fuck's sake. Also, when you swing forward, you have to put a bit of oomph into it as well. You can't just, like, do a light forward throw, if that makes sense. Good. Too steep of an angle there. So yeah, it's bowling. That's pretty much what it is. It doesn't control exactly the same as Wii Sports Bowling, but it's fine. My right arm's gonna be fucking sore in the morning, I can tell you that for a fact. I haven't played Wii Sports Bowling in years. I haven't played regular fucking bowling in years, for that matter. Game, please. Close enough. I haven't quite figured out how to... Is there like a help guide on here? Reference? How do you do the... The curve throws, does it tell you? Doesn't really say. Because I saw in that tutorial they're showing you that you could do a curveball if you like. I, I assume that the tutorial was like for the touchscreen control because I saw like a touchscreen sort of like style, stylus looking thing like going across the screen in a weird curve shape. I assume that was like for touchscreen controls but I mean for the Joy-Con I would assume you have to like twist it to the left or right but I'm not quite getting that to work so I, I don't know. I still need I think I got it there a little bit. Yeah, you have to like twist it at the last moment. Again, I need to get a feel for that. I, I used to play Wii Sports Bowling so much that I actually got really fucking good at it. Like, I could keep getting, like, strikes non-stop. There we go. Strike. First strike and probably my only strike of this session. There was a fun side mode in Wii Sports Bowling that I kind of wish they brought back, but I don't think it's in Clubhouse games. It was, like, basically... 
the idea was to knock down as many pins as possible, but the twist was that it starts with like 10 pins, and then after that, they would put like an like, extra row behind the 10 pins, so it would be like 15, and then they'd put a row of 6 or 7 behind that, so it would be like 21. Yeah, that's 6. And it would just keep going and going until it was just like this huge triangle of like over 100 pins that you had to knock down with like two shots. That was a fun mode. I forgot what that was called, but I used to play that one a lot as well. Tried to outdo my score in that one. Oh, nice double strike. Ah. For fuck's sake. Okay, no turkey this time, but whatever. That's what a triple strike is called, isn't it? A turkey? I got the spare at least. The 100 pin challenge, I think that was it, yeah. See, in Wii Sports, in Wii Sports Bowling, I would also do this. I would like put the ball over to the very far left or right, and I would like angle it and then curve it a little bit. That was mostly how I approached my balls in, in a, a pin, sorry, in that game. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, too much curve. Rather, the curve was right, but the speed was too slow, so I overcurved. I think I'm dropping a shit ton of frame, guys. I can't show you right now because I'm not quite next to OBS, but I can see it. Sorry if it starts buffering. Did the stream just die? Excellent. All right, hang on a second. I need to... I need, I need to reposition myself. There's, like, another table next to my desktop, so I have to, like... Scoot, scoot on by that. Why do I have a table next to me? Because there's an N64 sitting on there that I use for N64 stuff. It came back. Right, well, just in case that happens again, I'm just going to throw this up here. So, just so you guys can see if anything's actually dropping or whatever. Yeah, you see that? My internet is being a piece of shit. So, what the fuck else is new? Let me move my microphone back and let's do the rest of these. How many have I got left? I think I'm on the 8th frame. Look at that pin back there. Oh, okay then. I thought that pin was stuck there. Like It looked like it just like clipped into the wall, but it, didn't. it just fell after a couple moments. Yeah, I'm on the ninth frame now, so we're almost done. Penultimate frame. Sometimes when I move the Joy-Con back, it doesn't quite register it properly. It's hard to explain. No way am I going to get all of these, but I can, I, I can fucking try to, but don't count on it. I'll come, of course I'd go down the fucking middle of that split. Was trying to hit the other two pins and hopefully they would hit the other two on the other side, but whatever. You know what, I'm going to stick to the right side. I'm more comfortable doing it from the right. From right to left. Curved it the wrong way there by accident. If I get a spell, then I think I get one more chance to like get another strike, since we're on the final frame. Don't hold your breath for that, though. Yeah, alright, well that's the end of that then. Oh, goddammit. I knocked something over. I knew I was gonna fucking do that. Yeah, again, I don't have a lot of space around my streaming area. I've got like a smaller table with like a couple things on it and like a Nintendo 64, but the thing I knocked over wasn't important. It was just um, a can of something. A can of WD-40 from my chair. Right, okay then. So 
that was bowling. We'll maybe do some of that online short in a little bit, but I'm gonna go back to checking some other stuff out. I'm sitting back on the on the at the desktop now. Also I didn't feel like reading that there, so whatever. I'm sure it's riveting trivia, but I don't give a shit. Let's try something on the board game spectrum. Let's try Let me try hit and blow. Apparently this one's really good. What's all this? It's a game where you guess at a set of hidden pegs. Oh, fun. Here's how it works. A brown peg means you have the right color in the right spot, like a direct hit. With you so far? A white peg means you've got the right color, but in the wrong place, or a glancing blow. So this means you have all four colors right, but only two are in the right place. Exactly. Let's assume red's in the right spot. So yeah, I think over here we've got a game like this what and it's called Mastermind. This. I think. Does that tell us anything? Um, well, what if I switch them around like so? I don't understand. This is taking forever. Let me try. I think you are on to something with that red one. Blue's obviously one of the bottom two, so let's put it here. But we have to make a change somewhere, so I'll swap purple and white. And voila! <laughs> Not bad, right? No. Oh, uh, way to learn from my mistakes. Yeah, the peg looks red to me as well, actually. It's like a little bit brownish, but it's like I look at it and I think that's red and not brown. Uh, I think you can play bowling in handheld mode. I haven't tried it myself, but I did see the tutorial, which looked like it was using touch controls. Right, okay then, so again, there is a board game that's kind of like this in the UK called Mastermind. I'm not sure if it's the same, if you guys have something like that, but it's the same idea, essentially. I've never played Mastermind, but I played like facsimiles of Masterminds here and there at some at key points in my life. I'm gonna go for white. Right, let's see. One right, hit, I got two blows. one hit, two blows, which means one of those are in the correct place, two of them are in the wrong place, and then one of them's just the wrong color. Let's hope keep the blue there. Put the white there. This time I'll have red in place of yellow, and I'll put the pink there. The right, I've got the four colors. Blows. They're just in the wrong places. So so far, at least I know what the four colors are. I just need to put them in the right order. Actually, a minute. No, that wouldn't work. Did I get all four? Nope. One hit. Oh wait a minute, I ch I ch sorry I'm a dumbass, I, I forgot that the red was the correct colour and I took it out because I'm I'm stupid. Well I'm certainly not a fucking mastermind myself, I can tell you that. Right, so I know for sure that blue is not in the number one slot. But I think it might be here. Yeah, 
yeah, I meant to put red here. That was my mistake. I, I was, I was doing. Oh, I wasn't thinking when I did that. So I think white goes up here. And no, that wouldn't work. Hang on. Shit. Pink goes there. And let me just look at the colors real quick. Blue. One hit, three blows. Okay. Just looking at the previous ones to see what I can glean from that. This game really makes you fucking think. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Nam Nam Nami. So I can't read that name from here, hang on. Namins Naminski? I hope I said that right, but welcome to the stream. Yeah, hang on a second. Restream is being a fucking pain in my arse again. I need to reload the the, the the chat application because it's not it's not being nice to me tonight as well as my internet. Right, okay, never mind. Right, we're good. Right, so give me one second. I need to like process this information because I, I know what I'm doing. I, I just need to think it. So blue, we'll have to go in one of these two spots. That's what I can glean from this. I'll put blue there. And I'm assuming... No, red can't be in this slot. So I'm going to put red there in this time. I think pink was in the right place the whole time. So I'm going to put that there. Actually, wait a minute, would that... No. No, that would mean that this will not work at all. Shit. Or will it? Oh, this is hurting my brain. Actually, I'll put white there, put red here. I think that will work. There we go! Mastermind. There we go. Again, that one really makes you think. Like, you really have to use your brain power for that one. Mathematically speaking, logically, it should be possible to deduce the correct answer within five turns. Well, there you go. I did it within five turns. Win without duplicate colors and win with duplicates. Let's do that one more time. So apparently it can be the same color more than once. So that'll be interesting. I'll put green there. I'm going to put two greens down this time in case it is duplicates. And for this one, I will go for yellow. And this one, I'll go for red. Zero right, two blows. Right, so it might not be... It could be duplicates, but it might not be green. Wait a minute, that's not going to work. One hit, two blows. Holy shit! Oh! Three hits. I, I thought I got that there because I saw the fucking door almost opening, but I, I in three turns I managed to get three hits, so we're almost there. I just need to find the one remaining colour and where it should go. Let me just look at what's on the board so far so I can figure out, try to do, deduce this. De -de 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 -de. Deduce. By the way, that's like that, that, that fucking door almost opening there was like the massive cock tease of this fucking game. Because I, th I thought it was about to open there, but I, I guess that just indicates that you were close. Right, so I think red's in the right position. 
Let's see. The only thing I can glean from this is that red was in the right position, so I'm going to leave red there. I just need to figure out which of these three colours were in the correct positions. I think... I think blue might not be in this. Because these two colours were already, like... Actually, hang on, is that true? Hang on. Okay, never mind. I don't think... It's either yellow or green. It's not supposed to be here. I think blue is correct. I'm going to say green was in the right position, and this one, let's try the white colour. No, that was not correct. Right, so we need to change that around. White can go here this time. Yellow can go there. Blue here. And red here. There we go. No? Oh, for fuck's sake, game, stop doing that, please. I'm on the right track, though. It's just this colour that's missing. I think it may be a duplicate. So I have to guess which one it is. Three yeah. Hits, zero blows. Just need to narrow it down to that one colour. That's all I need to do now. Just looking at all the previous guesses I've made so far. Wait, is it yellow? Hang on a second. Looking at my previous answers. I think it's yellow. Oh, God damn it! Three hits, zero blows. Right, I have to think long and hard about this then, because this is my last chance. Maybe pink. Actually, I think it is pink, because I haven't really been guessing that one. Nice. It was pink. I only, it only just occurred to me that I only guessed pink once this entire time, so that's why I couldn't get that there, because I was saying everything but pink. Do you have duplicates turned on? I don't think I do. Is it on by default? Okay, apparently it's not on by default. Let's do one more with duplicates, because I want to see if I can get this. I got two hits, surprisingly. Two hits, two Holy shit, am I really getting this in fucking my third try? Blue, pink, red, and the last one is white. No? One hit, three blows. Okay, never mind. I, I misjudged what that was there. I think I might know what the solution is now, maybe. I need, I need to think about it. One second. I think the red's in the wrong place. I think red was supposed to go here. Or not. Ah, shit. I think pink was in the right place. Blue was in the right place. Or was it? No. No, no, no. Right, well, never mind. I thought I, thought I solved that there, but I'm not quite... I need, I need to look at my previous answers to double check. I'm not confirming this, I'm just I'm just setting up like that and I'm gonna change them out when I feel like I figure out which ones need to be different. One, two, no, um 
I'm, I'm really bad at this. Again, it's a very logically intense, like, puzzle. I'm trying to figure which of the two were correct on that first guess. Like, if I can figure that out, I can figure everything out, but that's the big question. See, on number one, I thought pink and red were correct because on number two, it was also two hits. That's why I swapped the red and blue, the, 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 sorry, the blue and white around because I thought those were the remaining two that I got blows on. But it's not that, so that that's left me in a bit of a confusion. Right, well, I think red. No. Or, wait a minute. Okay, well, red's in the correct position. I think I can gleam that much from it. I just need to swap these three colours around in such a way that it makes sense. Again, I think pink. Hang on, pink. Oh, my brain, my brain is melting, guys. So wait a second. It may be duplicates, maybe two reds here. Maybe that's why that's not working. No, that that wouldn't work because I got three blows. What what, a ter what terrible terminology this game has hit and blow. I prefer the name Mastermind. I don't think this is the answer, but I'm going to do that just to see where we are. Two hits, two blows. Oh wait, that's the exact same answer I gave for the second one. I am fucking stupid. Is it this? And now we got nothing. Four blows. Professional gamer. Right, well I think red has to be down there then, because I got a hit, like, two hits on the first one, so... Logically speaking, red has to be the bottom one. Now I need to deduce where everything else is, so... Pink... Hits there. Okay. That would be correct so far, so these two are definitely correct, it's just the last two. Logically speaking... Right, I've, I've got the solution. Whoops. Ah, oh, shit. I've got the solution. <sighs> why, why am I doing stupid shit? Right, this is the answer. If I got this right, like, I'm calling it, this is correct. If I got it right, you owe me five bucks. There we go. Four hits. Chat owes me five bucks. Right, okay then, so let's move on to another game. That wasn't a duplicate, but whatever. It's very gratifying, though, once you figure out the answer, though it feels very cathartic. I can say that much. The chance of guessing correctly on the first try with no duplicate colours is 1 in 360. With duplicate colours, it falls to 1 in 1296. Holy shit. I mean, I didn't get duplicate colours, but since we turned duplicate on, I guess that counts. So, whatever, yeah. Right, so I shown this one during that, like, uh, Clubhouse Games DS stream that I did. This one's fun. Ever played this one before? Don't think so. Where's the board? And the pieces. All you need for this one is a pen and paper. That's it? So I take it the rules aren't too complicated. There are basically just two. On your turn, you draw a line. When your line finishes a box, you get a point. Two rules for a 2D game. I'll give it a shot. 
What just happened? Oh, right. If you finish a box, you get to keep going. A third dimension. But yeah, this one's pretty good. So is it just like, is this a two player game? Because in the DS one, it was like four players. But yeah, sure, let's, um, let's play. Yeah, this one requires a lot of strategy and planning as well. well not, not so much planning, it's just like you've got to figure out exactly where you want to draw your lines. I'll put one there. So I'm blue. Running out of places to put things. Yeah, we're both <laughs> we're both trying to avoid like leaving it for somebody else, like capture one. Shit. Um I, I can't think of any place where I can put one down without them capturing it. This could be problematic. Oh crap, I, th I think... I think no matter which one I go for, they're gonna end up capturing, so now I should probably figure out how to minimize the captures. Unless... no, that's not gonna work. I mean, if I do this one... They can capture this box, but then they can't capture it anymore, so we're going to do that. Oh, I didn't even see that fucking line there. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. Well, I, th I think I've left myself open for them to, like, completely fucking fuck me over at this point. Unless I... I guess I'm gonna have to do this. Yeah, fine, take those boxes as well then. Take those three. Ah! She's on the other foot now. Kind of. Well, it was on the other foot for a brief moment. Actually, if I put that there, I think they'll be forced to take those boxes and then put a line down that allows me to grab the rest. There we go. Take all these ones. Shit. I think they may have beaten me. Yeah, this is this is not easy. Nah. I, I think they, they trapped me in such a way that I couldn't like do anything else about that. God damn it. I do like that game, but I'm not the best. I'm not the best at it. I'm not like big-brained enough for it. Classroom fun. This is a popular game to play in school ever since everyone has had like pencil and paper. Oh yeah, you know what? Um, I pre-ordered this game. Uh, I pre-ordered it online, and it came in through the mail today. But the mail also included the pre-order bonuses, which I got like a grid paper pad thing and like a a, a pen that's got like the logo for the game on it. So that was cool. 
but yeah, I, I guess that's like if you want to like play locally, you can use that shit. Right, okay, one more and then I'll go online. I mean, the, the online thing's available now, but... Let's try... What is this? War? I mean, I guess I'll try darts. darts. Which means I'm gonna have to move the microphone again, but let's listen to the tutorial first. If it helps, pretend I'm not here. It's fine, I've got this. Ah, I swear I'm normally much better at this. Maybe your darts are defective? Let me try. You're aiming for the center of the target. Right. No, not right. Center. You have to aim carefully. Oh, like this? Good news. The darts work fine. Credit to my mentorship, of course. Those who can't do, teach. Oh, another bullseye. Uh, what, what the fuck just happened to his voice there? Uh, can somebody explain to me my, why his voice became, like, bit crushed for a moment? I'm not sure if that was, like, a, a, a reference to something. Right, so... Throw darts, obviously. I mean, I know how to play darts, but there's just, like, one thing about 301 and 501 that I forgot about. Subtract your points from the round of your overall score. The first player to reach zero wins. When playing double out rules, you must throw a double or a double bullseye at the end. Right, see, when I played the DS version, this was the thing that confused me, because that version of the game doesn't have this rule, and this was the one that I was trying to do when I played that game, which is why I lost, because I took too long, because I was trying to go for doubles. So yeah, you can, you can do that, or you can turn that off. So I, th I think we'll, you know what, for convenience, we'll just turn that off, fuck it. Maybe I can do double out if I play this online. Is this game online supported or not? Shit, what would I- ah fuck. Hang on. I don't think I selected- I don't know what count up means, but I'm gonna do the real one. Okay, so... Hold the Joy-Con, hang on, right, hold the Joy-Con like this, oh this is weird, the way I'm supposed to be holding this fucking thing. So, so I use the, my right index finger, the pointing finger, over the analog stick, and then the middle finger goes over the middle of the Joy-Con. Right, okay then, so... Excuse my chair squeaking. Hold to take the dart. Hang on. Sorry. Let me look at how this is done. Right, I think I see how this works now, so this is going to be weird. I don't think I need to move the microphone or anything for this one. Oh, that's weird. Maximum motion control technology. Shite. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get a feel for this. It's kinda hard to gauge exactly where the dart's going to go, but I guess if you play it enough you will get the feel for it. I like how they got all three darts on the board without missing any, and yet they got less points than me. I'm gonna try going for a triple 20 which is the reds. See with the darts pointing right now, that is the triple 20. That is like 60 points, that's like the most you can get on the board, so I'm going to try going for that. Nope. God damn it. There we go! 
Crystal times the charm. You know, this actually isn't bad. Like, the motion controls on this one's pretty good. It's weird, but you can, you can, like, get to grips with it very quickly. Bullseye! Try going for triple nineteen. Almost. Yeah, we're counting down. Like the aim is to get to zero first. Almost. Yeah, I'm starting to get the feel for the accuracy on this. This is, this is pretty fucking good. This might be my favourite game so far tonight. I'm impressed. Finally we have a fucking dart simulator video game that's not like a, punch of, a bunch of bullshit. So this has online multiplayer, yes. Also nice little detail there that the dart like almost fell out because it like hit the other dot's like body so it's like kind of sticking off at an angle. Nice little detail there. Right well I'm down to 64, I could potentially finish this. If I get a triple 20 on my first shot I can just get a 4 and win. So yeah when I do online multiplayer in a couple moments after I'm done with this we'll do some of that. I will probably play a few rounds of darts, I guess, with whoever wants to play. Right, so I need a double 12. Where's 12 on the boards? Ah, there it is. The game even, like, tells you. That's kind of cool. Can I land a double 12? Nope, 9. Right, well, I guess I'll go for a 14 and a 1. Shit. Six. Am I doing... I'm doing double out rule, so I have to hit the double. Right, okay, so I, I have to actually hit that. Easier said than done, though. Ah, so close. But yeah, this, this one, this is... Make or no make, we can do a microphone if you want, D, if you want to play some games with me on this. But yeah, this is easily my favourite one so far. The bowling one was a little bit... I, I don't want to say it's bad, it's just you have to have a lot of, like, arm room for that one. But this one you can do with relatively little wrist throwing and you still get a lot out of it. I guess one and double two. Shit. Yeah, so that just resets me back to six. Oh really? That's normal difficulty by the way and he fucking got it on his first try. Oh well. I'm gonna do one more and then we'll go online. The game of darts originated in England during the 1300s. Ricardo has arrived at the globe. Okay. Right, so I'll go online and play some online stuff with you guys after this. I'll be doing some more Clubhouse game streams as well, of course. So this won't be the only session like the DS one. I only did the DS one as a one-off because I was waiting for this game to come out. Remember that fucking darting minigame in Shenmue? There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> My fucking fat finger hit the home button there by accident because it was leaning on it. But I got I got a triple 60 there, so that's good.
I mean, we can take turns each, I guess. Trying to go for the bullseye. Oh, double bull... Well, regular bullseye, sorry, but... I was going for the bit in the very middle, the 50. God damn it, sorry, my, my finger keeps hitting that home button. The way I'm holding this Wii Remote, the nunchuck right now. Let me re remove my. I'm, I'm gonna move my fingers around a little bit so I don't do that. Like the very side of my index finger keeps fucking hitting that button by accident, so don't mind me. Right, there we go, this should be a bit better. Okay, so. Let me try to think. If I go for. I think what would be the most optimal way, way around this. I guess I could go for double 20. Or if I go for 50, hang on, give me a moment to think. Actually, let's go for like the outer ring, let's go for 25. Of course I would get the bullseye that time, but you know what, that's fine. We can get a one and double one. much too too much pressure there shit right well this pr person probably has me fucking beat because I can't land that bloody shot Right, now we need to get a double. Shit! Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I think I think you need to tweak the AI because that is... Again, I'm playing on normal difficulty and he's fucking getting these like it's nothing. Some of the false games of darts were played using barrels as targets. Okay then. Right, so let me put my Joy-Cons back in my hands like a normal human being and let's go online for a bit. So there's a bunch of more games to check out as well, but I'm going to go online and I guess... Right, so I guess I'll play with... Um... Since D wanted to play with me, well, I'll do it with him first and then I'll do it with... Uh with uh, DJ Bruce, if that's okay. Also, hang on a second, I think Discord's being fun and like... My, my Discord server is like... See, I've got like a bot that like announces when I post my YouTube videos and sometimes my live streams get fucking announced on that, which is a bit annoying, so just getting rid of that real quick. Wish that fucking bot could tell the difference between actual YouTube videos and like my live streams. Right, so if you want to do a Discord call, I guess we could do that now. Uh, let me try calling you. If I can find you on Discord, hang on. Hello? Hi, is Discord working? Yep, Discord's working, I can hear ya. Right, that's good. Hello everyone, how's it going? Let me just pull up the chat real quick. So yeah, that dart one was actually really good. I like the motion controls in that. Oh boy, check out that online. 
We haven't even... Oh, yeah. We haven't even fucking played a game yet, and I can already tell that it's gonna be a shit show. I thought that was just because of my internet. No, apparently this is how it is, oh. day one. Oh, no. Like, they released something today where you could play, like, four of the 51 games for free, and Bandana Gamer D shared, like, a... Uh, sorry, the DJ Bruce shared a clip with me where he played, like, a card game, and it was, like, really fucking slow. Yeah, I think that was the uh, free-to-play version of this game for, you know... Uh, it probably has four games included, but I think what it's primarily for is for the local multiplayer, so that way you only need one copy of the game to play yeah. with up to four people that have Switch consoles. It's basically what we, like what they used to do I'm with like doing sure. play on the DS. It. I would have made it the same one, so that way. By it's the like, way, well, there's a reason for people to have it. Hang on a second. But worse. <laughs> right. So <laughs> just saying. Download- just so you Download know, play was its own like multi. Sorry, am I interrupting you? No, I was just gonna say when I keep pressing left or right, it takes like upwards of like one to two seconds to actually move. Like that's how bad it is right now. So I guess we'll do something simple. Then we'll do four in a row. You know how to play that yeah, one, right? Yeah, you keep cutting out on my end too. Hello. You're not using the, your same internet connection for the game and your voice chat, are you? Yeah. Uh, in, do you remember it? Do you know it as Connect 4? Yeah, we know it as Connect 4. Okay. Also, I think I'm dropping frames yeah, on I know OBS, that. so that's that's fun. Right, we'll, we'll start with uh, Connect 4 then. I'm just going to skip the... I feel like you're dropping frames in real life. <laughs> Probably. So yeah, we'll just skip the how to play, because we both know how to play this. Fine by me. Alright. Also, I heard I heard that this game is the one where you can feel the HD rumble in action. I think you can feel the HD rumble in that Yahtzee game, because you can like feel the, di- the dice rolling around inside the, the cube thing, the top. Yeah, that one too. I can kind of feel it, but I need to, like, feel it again. Might take a couple, like, tries to, like, get the feel for it. Oh, wow. That is... that is some delay. Yeah, it's a big (laughs) delay. I'm dropping a lot of fucking frames on OBS right now, holy shit. Yeah, like I said, the connection doesn't feel doesn't sound stable over here. I wonder right. if it's after, just because after uh, this my match. Internet? Oh. Oh, we cut off right. Uh, apparently, it dropped connection. Right. So I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna close the game and quickly check to see if that's using my. Okay. Give me a sec. I will fix this. I just I'm gonna swap my switch to my second network. Okay. So that way I'm not trying to do everything off one network and see if that fixes it. Yeah, I just checked my Switch to see if I was connected to the same network that was using my streaming and voice calling. It's not, so it's not my end that's doing that. Um, okay, I think I know what the problem is now. Right, so let me try that again. You, just let me know okay. when you're ready, um, and then we can do this. How about you play with Deej for a sec? Because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix up my net a little bit. Right, okay, I'll do, I'll do some with Deej then, and then I can play with you again. Alright, just play a couple games with Deej and I should be ready. Okay. Right, I may have to restart the stream before we even do that, because I am dropping a lot of frames for some reason, which is... Funny how that only fucking happens now, when I play online, even though my online is not being... technically affected by playing this, because I'm using a different network, but... The stream's gonna go offline for just a couple moments. I need to restart OBS, or restart the streaming on OBS, so I'll be back real quick, and then we'll try playing with Deej. Alright, sorry about that, my internet just really tanked there right now and I had to restart the router to fix it, so the stream is back, I think. Let's try that again, I'm gonna make a call with uh, Deej in just a second. Or sorry, not Deej, uh, Bandana Gamer D, I don't think Deej is here right now, so... Let me just call him and see if my connection holds steady, fingers crossed. 
Uh, hello? Hello, I can hear you. Alright, so hopefully things will be fine now. Yeah, hopefully. I also see that your lobby is up, so I will get in there. Yeah, sometimes yep, sorry, I have to I... restart my router to fix things, so I think we're all good now. Yeah, I think that was problems on both ends too, because I was actively downloading stuff on the same network, and I didn't realize it, because my Switch likes to swap networks on me all the time. Yeah, sometimes that happens with me as well. It's, it seems to be running a little smoother already. Like, I'm getting more frames on my end. <laughs> There's a little bit of a delay on my end, but most of these games you don't really need to be super accurate, I guess. Yeah, I think the only one that you would really need to be up to date on is probably speed, since we'd be playing simultaneously on that. Have you come to try and get four? Yeah, just gonna skip this again. <laughs> All right. So yeah, welcome to Connect Four, everyone. Should we put the pieces back down where it was to begin with? Because I think I remember the positions of where we all were. Yeah, I remember the moves. Yeah, so we'll just simulate those moves again. It was like the first four moves. And then you did that. Yep. And mines was like over he In no the wait corner. Yeah. There. No, or like yeah, one away from the corner. Yeah. And then I blocked. And then you, you put here. one there, and then that's where it disconnected. Yep. Right, okay. So then. now we're all caught up. You can just cut out that whole section where we had lag yeah. because it never happened. <laughs> I'm gonna say here. I think I might have done something bad here. <laughs> <laughs> Getting closer. So yeah, the controls are like very delayed, but for games like this it's fine, I guess. Also, this fucking Hawaiian music yeah. just reminds me of Spongebob. It's games where we're not like, actively trying to play against each other. Take a turn. It does. By the way, connect four. Ah! I was waiting for I you to put that one about there. That. All right, so we'll have yep. a couple more matches of that if you want. Winner, winner. I've completely forgot about that one. Yeah, some, sometimes uh, that happens. You just like that completely overlook one else. spot. Uh, I think I'm dropping frames again on, on if you OBS. Want, we can do another round of that. We can do another round if you want. Uh, before we continue, hang on, I need to... I'm going to lower the bit rate on OBS because my internet is just not being super stable this evening. I'll set it to 1100 kilobits, I guess. So the picture will look a little bit scummy, but it'll be... It'll be it should drop frames less, I would imagine. Alright, let's do one more match, I guess, if you want to see if you can beat me this time. 
Like, yeah, for sure again. I honestly cannot tell if the background is a photo or if it's something they rendered and then blurred. I, th I think it's rendered in boards. If you look at the desk, That's you can insane. see the desk is also blurred. Like, I think it's just yeah, a field of yeah. death of fields, so yeah. I can see a bit of a cutoff on the right. You can see, like, where it cuts off into the grain. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, there is a bit of a lag. I'm not sure if that's just distance, our network, or that's just how it is. But playing fine. I win. Do you? Yep. Oh, I see it now. Right, yeah, you trapped me. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. I saw I saw one of them, but I didn't see the other one. Yep. <laughs> Some big brain play there. Nicely done. You're welcome. <laughs> see, I know how to play Connect 4, but it's like I can never figure out how to like articulately plan out like a moment where you can like trap somebody like that. You really have to, like, really I, figure that out. Yeah, what I was really hoping for was, like, if I tried to set up for that spot, that spot that was in between those two lines, you would have saw it and blocked it immediately. So I had to, really had to wait for you to try and use that spot. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> right, so let's see what else we can do here. Was there any good two-player games that you would recommend that might be good for this? Because I'm not sure which ones to go with. Mm. Yeah, because uh, I, th I think, I think stuff curling? like... Toy what? Toy curling. This this one? Oh. Go love that delay. Yes. Yeah, that one. So this is kind of like... Toy curling. What would you call it? Air hockey, uh, but it, or is this not air hockey? No, it's not air hockey. Whoever's closest to the center at the end wins. Oh, I I'll see, right? It takes to make sure that's me. I'm just gonna skip that tutorial. I, I get how this works. In. Yeah, yep. Basically, we're just both working towards, uh, we're both working towards trying to get our piece to be in the center. Yeah, the we can knock each other's out in each turn. Yep. And I think we get I hope, maybe like I hope this works well them. though with the delay, with like the, the lag. Well, let's just take it easy. Does this use motion controls? Because it's not telling me how you do it yet. Um, because I'm playing right now. Yeah, well you can tell me then. Is it motion control based or? No, it's just a stick. Okay. Yeah, it's just you hold back the stick to control the power, and then you can aim it in the direction that you want. Oh, I accidentally Ooh. filed that. Yeah, a little there. strong there. Which stick is it, the right or the left stick? Because I'm not even sure which one I did. 
Um, I've just been playing with single Joy-Con, so I'm just gonna assume the left stick. Right, okay then. Let me see. Okay, that was me honestly attempting to try and get the center. I that was a little powerful. I think these sticks might these sticks might be a little small. So I'm actually gonna hold the control. I'm actually gonna hold the Joy-Con in one hand and try and aim the stick with one finger. Let's see if I can get a better shot. Oh no. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit hard to like. Is there any way to control the power? Because it feels like they're just sliding at the same distance every single time. Well, that's as like I tried pulling back the joystick as lately as possible there. It's a little bit hard to judge though with the Joy-Con joysticks compared to like a Pro Controller's joystick. Like the Pro the Joy-Con joystick doesn't have as much travel to it. Yeah, exactly. That's that's part of the problem I'm having right now. But unfortunately with online, I think you have to use a Joy-Con. How are you playing right now? I'm using the Joy-Con because I've been using Joy-Cons all night. Okay. I'm only using a single Joy-Con too. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so it looks like we each have ten of these things and at the the last one is I have an idea. I might hate myself for it. Yes! <laughs> Worked exactly the way I wanted it to. Oh no, Mel, why is it gotta be right there? So I'm playing the single Joy-Con like two-handed, like one to hold it and then my other like hands like two fingers to like get a very precise shot if that makes sense. Yeah, actually that's what I, that's actually the uh, style that I tried, that I adopted as well. Yeah, Just that seemed to be an easier way to do it. Using... Yeah. Like trying to do it oh, one-handed no, is like really hard. Yeah, trying to do it all with like the Joy-Con being held in one hand and trying to aim it. That's pretty hard. A little bit too much power there. But I blocked you. Yeah, but I'm the one closest, so why is... Get out of here. Oh, I blocked myself! I have no way to defend myself. I only got two of these shots left. Oh, th You're <laughs> still the closest, though. All right, let's see if I can actually nail this shot. I doubt it. I do wish the online was better, though. Eh. Ooh. Nicely done. Yeah. Okay, so you can control the power. Now you're just gonna yeet it out of there, aren't you? Oh, this delay. Like when I, I when I make a change to my thing, it takes like a second for it to update. I know you gotta like, you just gotta like wait for it to line up. Oh. Shite. Last one. That little too little power. Let's see what I can do. Oh, that did not do what I wanted it to. I wanted to block you. Although, here's the thing, if you ram in, yeah, if you ram into that, yeah. There we then go. you just win. <laughs> I was going to say, if you just ram into the one that's blocking mine from yours, you're going to win. Let's do one more, I guess, and then we'll do another one. All right. See, I was looking forward to playing air hockey online, but with the way this game is reacting to no. online, I don't think that's even going to be a thing, unfortunately. I think it will probably be better when you and Deej are playing because you guys are closer. Like I said, I like. I you don't know. Maybe the, you live in, you know, you live across the sea from where I am. So and my network's not good to begin with. Uh, I think you're supposed to say play because mains is not doing it. But I'm, oh wait a minute. No, only sorry. the host. Yeah, only the host can. I, I was using the left Joy-Con there. Sorry, the right Joy-Con is for confirm. 
<laughs> oh, that's great. Aim for the center. Oh, I just had a great idea. I'm going to try it. Try and block me from the start. Yeah. Uh, if you bank it, you might be able to make it. Also, I like how you can see the, the slight mark showing where everything's been so far. That's cool. Oh, yeah, that's a nice touch. The perspiration. You can yeah. actually tell that the board is meant to be chilled because you can see perspiration on the side of it. There's no way a toy like this would ever exist, to be honest. Well, I'm starting to get the hang of this now. It's a little bit finicky because of how small the analog stick is, but once you get the feel for it, I guess it's kind of cool. That was not what I wanted to do. Nope. <laughs> Oh, come on. You really think that's going to stop me? There we go. <laughs> that's more like it. There we go. Got a whole Surprise bunch of blues Pikachu. to get out of the way. Surprise Pikachu, yeah, exactly. I was kind of hoping that maybe my... I was hoping that my cur... My uh, curling, whatever they're called, weights? Puck? I don't know. I was hoping it would fly true and just knock everything out of the way. Mel. <laughs> Mel, why? <laughs> Alright, I guess I gotta bank it now. Just no. <laughs> Mel! <laughs> Alright, fine, you forced my hand. Ooh, barely. Just barely! Oh, I only have three of these left. Last three. Oh, that's like so protected! How am I supposed to get to that? Come on, Mel. Oh, I can't even aim that far. But yeah, whoever is first, like you were first this time as well, whoever is first has a disadvantage because the, the last player, the second player gets like the final hit, basically. Yeah. So when you're first, you have to make sure you basically plan it out in such a way that the last shot does not get through, I guess. Right in the center. Last two. You could still pull this back. It's gonna take a bit of effort on your part, but you could do it in one shot, I possibly. Know. I just gotta, I just gotta like ram into you is what I gotta do. I gotta ram into you the right way. I gotta like, if I can take, you see that puck that's behind your wall of three. If I can ram that in just the right way, I could probably. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to catch yourself. Yeah, trying to fortify the back there. If you shoot it just right though, you could get it in there. That's what she said. Oh, not quite ah! a good, good effort though. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you're gonna win unless you... I mean, you still have to fire off this last puck, so if you do it in a way... Oh, I, I, almost, I almost squandered, yeah. You almost shot yourself in the foot. Yeah, almost. I deliberately tried to fire it off in a weird direction so it wouldn't do anything, but I almost fucked up by doing that. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll let you choose the next game. Whatever you want to play. And then I think it'll probably be about time to let D on, so that way you guys can test out some games as well. Alright then. Um, let's Wasn't see what sure games we've got. Planning on. Uh, I'll be playing for another, I don't know, another 30 minutes or so. So I'll do okay, so one more yeah. with you and then I'll do some.
excuse me, I'll do some with uh, these. So, would you, would you say, the, I forgot what it's called, but the Yahtzee one, is that any good? Because I don't know the exact yacht rules dice? of that. Yacht Dice? I know how to play Yacht Dice. Yeah, it's pretty good. It might be a bit longer. Yacht dice. It's too long, right? Okay. But we could try it out. It, it, how long would you say it would be? Like 10 minutes, 20 minutes? Uh, pro yeah, probably closer to 20. Right, okay, that's a little bit too long then. Uh, do you want to do dots and boxes then? Sure! Right, okay then, let's dots do dots and boxes. boxes. This one we can do within five. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it's anything like my, like, when I typically play Yahtzee, then yeah, it, it will be a while. Alright, Deej, we don't have to do voice chat if you don't want to, that's fine. It might be funnier. Because then you won't be able to hear Deej smack talk you back, and we just assume that he's, that he's doing that. Oh, that went way out. Yeah, the delay on that's quite big. Yeah, just gotta nudge it back into place. <laughs> See, I can understand, I mean, I'm still annoyed about, like, Mario Maker 2's online being shite, but I can understand that game being slow because it's, like, four players in, like, platforming physics and stuff working all at once. But who the fuck does a game like this run like shite? Because Nintendo doesn't prioritize their servers. I, I think it's probably running off peer-to-peer -peer connection. Probably they is. Don't, like, they don't prioritize... Uh, they don't like get servers for most of their games. Like Splatoon 2 is like the only one I can think of that has servers dedicated for it. Whereas, I think Mario Maker does have servers, but I think it's just for storing levels. Yeah, so it's kind of like a shit show, basically. Yeah. I mean, yeah, mo again, just... most of the board games, you don't really need the accuracy or whatever, but it does hurt for the overall package that it runs this slow online. Yeah, and it could just be our, our connection as well. That's why you kind of want to test it out with Deej as well. I mean, yeah, I'll try it out with him and see if it runs any better, but I'm not expecting it much of a difference, to be honest, given Nintendo's track record for online. Yeah. I get the feeling that like Clubhouse, the Clubhouse game streams, if you continue these on in the future, will probably either be some of the most chill streams imaginable, or they'll just be people bringing out the rage all the time. Yeah, it really <laughs> like, depends on what kind those, of games I play. Yeah, it's just those extremes. But I would imagine it would be mostly chill though, because there's a lot of good chill games on here. Oh yeah. One of my favorite board games is on here, and I didn't get around to it today. The game called Little, but that game oh. can easily go on for like thirty minutes, so I didn't do that one today. Yeah, maybe I'll Especially do that next time I stream this. <laughs> I guess for people in the US who don't know what Ludo is, it's basically the board game Sorry. Yeah, or Trouble. Trouble and Sorry are kind of like a mix of Ludo. They like take different elements. There we go. Sorry, I, I bet it looks like I'm taking forever on your end. Nah, that's fine. E. E. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying my best here, I swear. Sorry, I expected the game to be responsive. Silly me. Yeah, I think we all expected it to be responsive, but then remem remembered it's Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mal, you're limiting my moves here. There we go.
I think what's going to end up happening is we set up for this one great chain and it just goes and just one person wins it all. I think that's what we're going for here. Uh, I see. I see what you're trying to do. Uh, do I go for it or? Oh, no, you can have it. Uh, I don't know. I should go for it because I want boxes. I just don't. There's just no another setup right now. And if I take it, then I'll set up for a bunch of other ones. But it, I can't really find a line to put anywhere that won't set up for another box. Uh, let's do it. Hey, Mel. You can win. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, no, never mind, that was a good move. I didn't even consider that though, to be honest. I was actually pretty I was actually pretty ready to give this up to you, but I didn't realize that was actually a good move. Gotta do the right one. Come on. There we go. There's two. Well, technically three. Four. There we go. I think I might have set it up for you. Seems like you may have. Controls, please. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Do not, do not <laughs> press the confirm button until you're certain. Yeah. Again, there's a big delay. It takes like upwards of like two seconds to like actually respond. I mean, that's what this game eventually boils down to, right? It's just setting people up to do these big combos, and then it's just whoever gets unlucky enough to, you know, have to be the one to set it up last. Yep, there you go. Just follow the path. Oh, wait. Hmm, I might still be able to pull through, actually. You might be able to, actually, now that I see. Yeah. Just gotta play it smart. It'll be close. Like, I'll give you that. It'll be close. It might tie. Yeah, oh, are you going to try and make it so that way I get stuck there? Is that what's going to happen? That would be smart. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure what I should do here. Yeah. You may actually win this no matter what I do. See, it's this, might actually... it's this junction up here that's the problem because I stopped there. Yeah, the, the question is, you could try and make it so, like, you don't have to mark a line at that junction. You could try and mark it somewhere else and try and block me from being able to do stuff. So make it so that way I hit the junction instead. Yeah, no, that's not going to work because what happens is if I try putting the line anywhere around here, you'll be able to go either way. You could either go up this way or you could go down the bottom way. Ah, he saw it. <laughs> yeah, but okay, so, so I'm just gonna put this here. I'll just let you have this. Alright. I mean, you kind of have to at this point. Yeah, I'm pr I pretty much trapped myself in there, so you can take the rest of the boxes and I think you'll win this one. Yep. Yeah, it seems like there's enough boxes there for you to win. GG. After, yep. <laughs> after five minutes of you after... putting down the lines. Yeah, because I could just accidentally hit the wrong line here. And mess up the whole thing, and then you win. 
There we go. Uh, put a timer on the clock. I'm gonna speed run it. Uh, I'm speed running. Quality speed run. I know. I'm gonna show you the the pro strats here. Clubhouse games done How quick. To... Done quick. C H C H G D Q. Uh, uh, come on, come on. No matter which what, on. one line you draw, you'll capture them anyway, so there you go. I want that one, though. <laughs> Got a twofer. So yeah, for people that are watching right now, there really is a massive delay between when you press the direction or the button and when it responds. It's, it's quite appalling, actually. Again, it's not... I win. It's not a big deal for like most board games where you can take your time, but when it comes to like more reactionary games, that can be an issue. Yeah, but I also want to point out that, that we are an incredible amount of distance away from each other, and yeah. my internet is garbage. Right, so I think I would assume you're you're done now. Yeah. Yep, uh, Deej is all ready to go, and I I will back out now, so that way you can play some games with them. Uh, okay, thanks for playing with me for a little bit. Next time I stream this, you can play some more games with me. Yep. Maybe we should also try playing it without being on the stream as well sometime. Maybe that'll help the internet. Yeah, we could always play some games off the stream as well. Alright, well, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Right, Deej, so you can join now. We'll see if this runs any better for you. There may be a little bit of an improvement, but I don't, like, again, considering Nintendo's track record for online play, I would imagine it wouldn't be that much of an improvement, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, there's still a bit, a bit of a delay. I mean, it's a little bit better, but... It's still like half a second between when I press something and when it like moves to the menu, the next thing on the menu, so... You're fine with anything? Uh, let me look for something. I guess we could maybe do billiards. Haven't tried this one yet. Billiards. Now... Now... Let's go and do that. Simple rules, whatever that means. And 8 ball. I think I might do 8 ball. So I would assume you know how 8 ball works, yeah? You either, you either go for colours or stripes and then you go for the 8 ball once you've got all your colours or stripes down. So that's uh, me right now. Uh, let me... Controls, analog stick, aim, and then the A button to take a shot. So this one has like a guide on it so that I can like aim a little bit I guess, but oh my god, can this fucking react quicker please? Yeah, there's a massive delay on this pool to... Right, okay, so I have to hold down the analog stick and then release. Interesting. Oh, I get a stripe. I get a stripe. Ah! Didn't get anything. Guess you can take the stripe then, or whatever. Yeah, the online on this is garbage. See, here's the thing, the package is great, but that does not automatically absolve it of my criticisms of the online, which, may I remind people for like the 15th time that it's like paid online, and yet Nintendo is like behind the competition by like fucking 10 years. Wow, really? How did how did that not go in? I'm as surprised as you are. I tried to compensate there by releasing the analog stick early and it's still overcompensated. If that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, twenty twenty dollars a year for this whoops. I forgot I had to press the A button first there before pulling the analog stick back. Oh. Uh. 
whatever. Well, I'm going for colours and you're going for stripes, so, so yeah. I wish I could, like... I wish I had, like, a webcam or something to show you the delay between me pressing it and, like, the actual fucking thing responding. It's bad. It's really fucking bad. Again, for most games it's fine. This one, not so like this one is not so much like something reactionary. But if you want to like adjust your aiming, it can take fucking forever to get it just right because you have to like be very fine. If it, it requires very fine net like aiming, which is kind of hard to do on this. Like I'm, I'm gonna hold this direction right, okay? And I will tell you when I release it, and you'll see when it stops. And stop. That was kind of a bad example because it was like lag in there, but hang on. Stop. You see how fucking over reactionary that can be sometimes? Now let's go for, I guess I'll go for the number one. Or, wait, oh no, I'll go for that one. As, as soon as I can aim at six. I kind of wish there was a way to like disable the... See, see the lines that show you where the balls go, because I think I think that might make it a little bit too easy to like aim the balls. And somehow I missed. Right, well, I take back what I said about the guidelines then. Yeah, we could be here for a while. Oh well. Guess I'll just take a drink of water. Oh, so this is my first stream in a while where I've turned off the air conditioning because it's actually gotten cooler over here in Scotland. It was like boiling hot last week, but I think as of last night the temperature finally started dropping a little bit, so nice and cool at the moment. I think the temperature is going to go back up again, but I don't think it's going to be like a big heat wave like it was last week. So that's good. Still drinking water on the side though, got to keep hydrated, not to mention keep my throat wet for when I'm like trying to commentate. Nicely done. Or in the words of Wii Sports Golf, NICE SHOT! Wow, I am bad at this. I I wonder... See, here's the thing. I think I'm better at aiming the... Uh, I, I can't explain this, but... You know what I did during that, like, air hockey thing? The... The the curving... The curling one? Where I had to, like, hold the, the right Joy-Con with, like, two hands? I think I'm gonna have to fucking do that for this, but... Can I use the four Joy-Con buttons on this side to, like, confirm my shot or not? That's the big question. I guess I'll find out now. Fuck's sake, game. Oh my god! Oh wait a minute. Sorry, I thought it was my tongue. I'm, I'm stupid. I thought it wasn't responding to my command there. I forgot it was your shot again because you got that last one. Sorry, don't mind me, just... If you can't tell, the online's making me salty, just a little bit. Is it my turn? Sorry, uh, somebody sent me a DM there, I had to like answer that. 
Right, so let me see if I can hit confirm on this before let me just line up my shot first. No, I can't do that, so I have to like hit the other one. Still too much power. <laughs> I see how you tried to stop on that there, but you couldn't. Hopefully this time I can actually get a shot in. I mean, surely I can't miss this. Right, finally. Took me long enough to get one more ball in. See, I'd like to think in real life that I'm decent at, like, billiards or snooker or whatever you want to call it, but when it comes to this game, I can't fucking aim for beans. Even with the guidelines, so I guess I take back what I said about the guidelines maybe making it too easy, I still suck. So what else is fucking new? And yeah, you can fucking do shit like that. You, you've practiced, haven't you? I would imagine you've practiced on this one, maybe. Or you're just like that good god tier billiards player over here. I have to see if you can get that around that eight ball. Not quite in the pocket, but at least you got it around the ball, so that was quite good. Yeah, I'm not going to go for that one. I'm going to go for the two instead. Yep, just over. Just go right over that then, thanks. Yeah, online delays, yeah! You know what's funny? Like, I know Smash Brothers Ultimate doesn't have, like, online servers either, but at least that fucking game is relatively playable online. Like, Nintendo makes extremely high quality, very polished experiences, but when it comes to online, they're just useless. $20 a year for this, like, the, uh, I, sorry, I, I keep going back and forth between Bandana Gamer D and Deej. I was about to say Deej there, but like Bandana said, $20 a year for this. And I feel that point should be emphasized because it's, it's true, it's like you're paying for this online service and you're not getting what you want. Ugh. Sorry, just... Going the wrong way there, trying to get this over.
So they pressed the wrong button there on the OBS stream deck thing. Right, so I'm going to have the microphone muted for a couple minutes. I'm still going to play this, so if I'm quiet for a few minutes, it's just because I need to stretch my legs and I want the microphone muted so you don't hear background noises while I'm stretching. Because I'm sure that's like probably something you don't want to listen to and I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm kind of how do I say this in words? I'm like self-conscious about making audio like in the background when I'm not like actually talking to chat. So I'm just gonna stretch my legs. I need to get off this chair because I've been sitting on it for like a couple of hours and it's like some sometimes I need to get up halfway like through my streams and that's about that time. So yeah, I'll be right. Oh. I'll, I'll just shut up and mute the microphone and continue playing, so my voice will be gone, but I'm still here. I'll be back in a couple minutes. I mean, if I unmute my microphone now, you can probably hear my voice, which is like not next to the microphone, so it's in the distance. So, yeah, that's why I have the microphone muted, so you don't fucking listen to this shit. But fuck it, I guess you're gonna listen to me talk across the fucking room, or not 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 across the room, but close enough. I'm st I'm standing by the way because I need to stretch my legs from this fucking shitty chair that I'm using. I need to get a better chair. This chair is like a really cheap old like office chair. Is my voice even going through right now? Because the noise gate might prevent some words from actually reaching you, but I'm assuming it's working. Not sure if that's the right angle. Hang on, just uh No. Difficult to judge the angle there from where I'm standing. I guess that might be good. Oh, okay then. That was a surprise. Right, okay, I'm, I'm gonna use my chair again. I think I'm done stretching. It's not so much that I'm stretching my legs, I'm fucking like recovering my glutes from this fucking shitty chair that I'm sitting on because if I sit on it for too long, it gets very uncomfortable. It's not a good chair. I need to invest in like a proper like chair that I can sit on without this one like causing issues. Ah. Right, we're almost done. I feel like this match should have been over like five minutes ago if we didn't have to like contend with this little online shittiness. I'd play some more games with you after this, Deej, but I think I'm about ready to move on to Retro Roulette after this, so... We can do some more of this off the stream if you want, and we can do some more online next time I stream it, of course. I'll be playing this a little bit off the stream as well, just so that I can, like, understand some of the games that I'm not used to, as opposed to just learning them for the first time. Because I want to play that Yacht Dice game, that one looks fun. Like... I know about Yahtzee, but I've never played Yahtzee before, so I need to understand how the rules work, but I think I have the, a slight idea of how that game works. Kind of. But again, I need to look into the nitty gritty of the rules before I even try to play it. There we go. But yeah, overall this package is pretty good. Like, there's a lot of value for money here. It's just the online is like the big like chink in the armour, in my opinion. Which is a shame because, again, Mario Maker, 
four players running around, a bunch of like projectiles and items and stuff lying around that, I can see why it would cause a lot of lagging, but trying to guide your snooker cue, your billiards cue, to like line up your shot, taking as big of a delay as it is, I, that I cannot fucking fathom. Right, well, I'm down to two colours. Yeah, I'm down to two colours. Or one colour, sorry. I'm down to one colour and then the eight ball. At least I line myself up for the next one there. Music in this is quite nice though. Oh yeah, so Sakurai did an interview with Famitsu, I think, uh, recently. They did an interview with someone, I forgot who exactly. But he was talking about how he no longer likes to talk about the games that he's been playing on social media. Because every time, like, say for example, he plays a game from a third party. Let's, ju let's just say, like, Persona or something. And this was, like, I don't, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, Dragon Ball, like, say he plays Dragon Ball Z, like Budokai Tenkaichi or whatever that game is called, that new one. And then people are like, oh shit, he played this, that means he, there's going to be like Goku and Smash Brothers. So yeah, he's kind of he's like fed up of that culture of like people like taking what he's saying and like thinking, oh, he's, he's doing research for like putting that character in Smash Brothers. And I can totally get that, I don't blame him that he's like, yeah, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going to talk about what games I play anymore because people are just, like, taking this too literally now. It's funny, but at the same time it's kind of sad that it's got to that point where it's just like, Sakurai is like, yeah, I'm not talking about this shit anymore. Oh, I have to guess, I have to, like, call the pocket that I'm going to pot it in. Uh, I'm going to go for the bottom corner then. Shit. They... Okay, well, that wouldn't have made a difference anyway. I thought I put too little power in that there. Because I had to, like, dial it back, and I think I dialed too much, but... No, I didn't. Are we still getting that ARMS DLC for Smash Bros. this month, or did that get delayed? Because I haven't heard Nintendo say anything about that since they announced the DLC character for like back during that direct mini or whatever or whenever they announced that i forgot when they talked about that but there was going to be like an arms character coming to smash bubbles but i forgot like they said it was coming in june but they've said nothing about it so i'm not sure what's happening with that at the moment i mean at least we know that that pokemon dlc is coming out like in a couple weeks but i don't know what's happening with the uh, the smash bubbles dlc Shite. I do like the little detail where the ball will automatically like be face up so you can see the number on it. Because if it's like if the like the number is like facing downward, you can't see what it says. Or if it's doing that and then it goes back to where it is, that's kinda cool.
right now you have to call a pocket and pot it Right, so I think I'm, hopefully I'm fine for like, no longer dropping frames, so I'm just gonna get rid of the OBS stats now. Knowing me, it's gonna like, fucking start back up in like, five minutes, but whatever. Oh, not quite. Guess I'm going for the top corner pocket then. Hey! Oh, white ball don't. Right, okay. If the white ball goes in when you pot the black, you lose. Because you, like, fill and then they get the win. Right, well, that took a little bit longer than I expected on account of the online, but at least we finally got a game out of that, so. So, yeah, the, the pool things, the pool, billiards, whatever you want to call it, there's different names for it in different parts of the world, but billiards is pretty good. I quite like that. It's a shame there's no snooker variant, which is like a different version of it that we do here in the UK, but I know how to play billiards just fine. Well, there's 8 ball, simple rules, whatever the fuck that is, and 9 ball. Hang on a minute. What does simple mean? I, I don't understand. Hang on. Before we stop, let me see what simple rules means. The first player to sink 5 balls wins. Oh, okay then. Yeah, so there isn't snooker here, which is a shame, but I'm, I'm fine with billiards. That's close enough, I guess. Right, okay, so thanks for playing with me, D. Sorry we couldn't play more games there. I didn't expect that to go on for as long as it did, but... I will do some more Clubhouse games, and I will probably play a bit of this off the stream so I can understand some of the games that I'm not so familiar with. And next time I stream this, we'll do some more single-player and online.